The Trans-Pacific Partnership is the agreement reached between the US, Japan and 10 other countries around the Pacific Rim. Details now from Linda Kincaid. It's the biggest trade deal in history. 12 countries representing 40% of the world's economy. It's taken more than five years of intense negotiations to seal the Trans-Pacific Partnership. We have come to an agreement that will support jobs, drive sustainable growth, foster inclusive development, and promote innovation across the Asia-Pacific region. The deal could affect all sorts of products from the price of cheese, the cost of a car, even the sale of cancer drugs, and the expectations are high. We expect this historic agreement to promote economic growth, support higher paying jobs, enhance innovation, productivity, and competitiveness, raise living standards, reduce poverty in our countries, and to promote transparency, good governance, and strong labor and environmental protections. Industries like automobile manufacturing, pharmaceutical, and agriculture will see huge changes. Japan would be required to let in more American farm goods, although it's argued for exceptions to protect some farmers. We were also able to get exceptions to demands that we abolish tariffs on rice, beef, pork, and dairy products. Overall, thousands of tariffs and taxes will be scrapped, many to be phased out over the coming years. The one major economy not included in the deal? China, China, our goal with China. The deal will create an economic bloc challenging China's influence at a time when the communist country is asserting more economic and military posture. Linda Kincaid, CNN. Here in California, Governor Jerry Brown has signed a landmark right to die bill into law.